Hey everybody, Gene Summy here. Today we're going to talk about flashing penetrations other than windows and doors. It's not uncommon at all when we are on a defect investigation that we discover that the source of the water intrusion is an electrical box or a gable end vent or a plumbing penetration. All these penetrations need to be flashed. We see them leak every single year. Now today we're going to talk about electrical boxes. Le electrical boxes represent uh, kind of a unique problem because they don't have a nail fin. It just slips through a hole in the wall and sometimes people try to you know, take care of it with sealant and we don't think just sealant is enough. So we're going to try a new approach with our lightning flash corners. Even. And uh, we hope you like this. We think it's very effective, it's very cost effective, uh, very logical, and this is just a, a new approach to an old problem. And as always, if you would, comment on it. Let us know what you think. Uh, we think it makes sense, but, you know, what do you think? Anyway, we're going to demonstrate it here now, and I hope you like it. Thank you very much for watching. Here's a very typical condition. This is an exterior electrical box sticking through a hole in the OSB. We're going to start by applying sealant. We're using Moist Stop brand sealant. It's a high-end polyurethane. We're going to apply sealant on all four sides of the electrical box. Now we begin applying the lightning flash corners. We start on the lower corners and press them into the sealant and then hold them in place with a staple. You might notice that we use a staple gun and not a hammer stapler because we think the positioning of the staples is much more deliberate and it results in a better finished product. Now we apply the upper corners, affixing them with staples. They press into the sealant at the top and when you're finished, it'll look just like this. So that we can have our 6 inch vertical flashing lap, we're going to apply 6 inch Forta flash on the sides, vertically, just like this. We eliminate the wrinkles, and as you can see, this is starting to look like a nicely flashed condition. We're going to take an interesting approach to the top flashing. Measurements are taken to know the lineal inches around the perimeter of the box. And in this case, it's six and a half inches. We cut our top flashing so that it extends more than six and a half inches and onto the box, in this case, an inch and a half. This dimension is dependent upon what kind of cladding you'll be applying to the building. Percy's marking the OSB at the top so that when we reapply the flashing, we hold it level with that line. Now that the release sheet has been removed from the Forta flash, we're going to stick it to the wall with the top edge of the Forta flash, even with that line. And you'll notice that places it so that an inch and a half of the Forta flash is on top of the box. Now we're going to cut the Forta flash away from the box as you see here. And watch how that is able to roll down onto the box and cover the sides of the box, which covers the laps in the corners. We think this is a pretty slick approach to flashing an electrical box. It's very simple, yet extremely effective. This box is now nicely flashed. Now it's time to lower the building paper into place and staple it and your condition should look like this. The lightning flash corners are two and a half inches which means they'll be wider than your exterior cladding. After your cladding is in place you'll want to trim the lightning flash corners. We're doing it here before any cladding is in place just to show you how easy it is. Okay, so here's your electrical box nicely flashed. This method will work with double boxes just as easily. Wider boxes and larger boxes can be flashed with lightning flash corners, but may need to be bridged with the Forta flash if they're wider than 5 inches. As you can see, this was simple 
and very effective. And you benefit from having only one product on the job that can flash many different types of boxes versus having to inventory different products. We hope you like this.